previously on the life of Kiara. Um, are you nervous for the kids to be around another woman? Not jealousy wise, but more on a parenting level. Also, I just wanted to say I'm happy y'all are working nicely, co-parenting together, but please always be on guard and be safe. Sorry to sound negative, it's just I'm dealing with somebody like him and it seems good, but then there's this other side. I've seen her before because they've known each other for a while. I don't know her and then when they were together There was this certain thing that happened that really rubbed me the wrong way. So that's what I have in my mind So let's see next question. All right, so this is from Priscilla Rivera She said Kiara my question is are you sincerely okay with your ex moving on so quickly and having a child? The reason I ask is because I was in a similar situation with my ex um, He cheated on me got her pregnant and decided to leave me and marry her It's been two years and I still can't seem to get over it. He still calls me He still comes to see me trying to weasel his way back in saying things aren't working out with her but I just can't get past what he did I don't girl I don't think I ever will so how did you do it it's okay to not be okay it's okay to admit you're broken either way I wish you and the family all the best so I did a video with my ex you guys already know this that um, you know telling Jericho that he's gonna be a big brother and that his dad has a girlfriend right when I when he told me that in person uh Corey and jericho were playing fortnite in my room and we were just chatting about the kids and about life and about youtube and he just randomly came out and said i'm having a baby and i wasn't shocked you guys like this is the thing me and him have been separated for two years we have been doing our own thing you know i've dated he's dated he's gotten serious with um the people that he's been with so you know i feel like when you're comfortable with somebody and you're already living with them like of course you guys are gonna be having sex for all let's just keep it a buck like that's just gonna i mean not everybody but i mean if you're living with them already like i wasn't shocked um but i was just like i was just like i can't really say much because it's not my life but at the end of the day like we have children together so it doesn't only affect you and so i just got into like quick like i don't want to say like survival mode because that's not like something you survive from that's not something like tragic or nothing like that um but i kind of got into like mommy mode that's what it is because i was like all right so you have a girlfriend we're going to we had a conversation about court and like what he wanted so we already spoke about visitation so i'm like july's around the corner you gotta tell the kids <laughs> And so whatever, we just continued talking and I was like, I think you should rip the band-aid now since I'm here so I can kind of help you out. I made a video, but for some reason, y'all, can I? For some reason, you guys, I was just like, I just felt like, uh, how can I, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it because it's like, I am so over him like i don't want to be with him and i don't want to put too much about my personal life but i've met people in my life that have totally made me forget about my past as far as like that pain that i have of like not being with the person that i was with you know like so i can see myself marrying and being with somebody else you know like i can already picture that because before i couldn't but i just was like i just i just was i just felt super disrespected um mainly because there's so much backstory to it there's just it was just i've heard this person's name before so i just felt really like yucky like i just felt like i wasted my time like I, that like six years is a huge part of your life so i was just like damn like you could have just been with this person like why did you waste my time like i just felt i just literally had wasted so much time but then i had to like quickly remind myself that obviously this person gave me my two kids and that was god's plan like god's plan was like i'm gonna bring you these two kids jericho and kalia like they are my everything like my everything it, it's been hard why am i gonna cry it's been hard being a mom obviously and then it, uh, being a single mom and being on my own 24 7 with my kids has been difficult too you know I, i've had like moments of like 
just just life being hard you know and so i just got i'm emotional so i'm just like i just honestly i was just annoyed and then i was just like damn like here i am again like fixing stuff and trying to make things better for you but at the end of the day it's for my kids you know um but i definitely wasn't broken i just was annoyed i was disappointed like this is why i tell y'all that i'm single i don't want to deal with that i don't want to deal with that with my kids like you know I, that's just me i don't want to deal with that yeah and that's about it that's what i'm gonna say um but as far as for you like i'm telling you i, I don't know i feel like i don't, i feel like maybe people who cheat can can change but there's something obviously I don't even know because I have never been in a situation where I've been with somebody who's cheated but I never actually found out about any cheating or nothing like that so I don't really even know but I don't think I would ever be able to tolerate that that's just me and I, and since you said that you were in a similar situation and your ex cheated on you like he was actually with you and got somebody pregnant I feel like you really need to take time for yourself and heal and when i tell you girl it is not fucking easy whatsoever healing is the hardest thing that you've ever had to do when it comes to like life and and um relationships with other people and within yourself especially it's not easy at all but a lot of people don't take that time to heal to know like freak out of here i do not deserve that i am not gonna settle for a man who wants to cheat on me go out and lie to me when i'm home do you have kids i don't know if you have kids but when i'm home with our children or when i'm home waiting for you to come home and you're with the next person like hell no that's just a whole level of disrespect like once again this is why i'm by myself and i'm gonna stay by myself for a while no matter how much i feel like i really want a person i just feel like i need to learn about that person i want to be that person's friend and slash best friend until anything gets serious you know but this is why i'm taking time for myself like you really need to find yourself and and tell yourself that you don't need him and you don't need anybody else to make you happy and that whole thing about like him trying to weasel his, himself back in he's lying to both of y'all i've seen this so many times before and i've been in situations like this as well he's lying to you and he's lying to her and y'all both are gonna get her and then y'all are gonna become enemies and you need to find happy happiness within yourself and leave that man alone he needs to leave you alone but he probably isn't he probably isn't because that's how they are he probably isn't um so just don't entertain him whatsoever please girl please you deserve the love that you put into the relationship and you deserve to be happy you might feel like he makes you happy but you're just comfortable that's not real love man because that whole situation is just toxic and you shouldn't have anything toxic in your life it might feel like love girl but it's not real love anyways goodness gracious um and i wish you the best as well so Karen XO said, I know you've talked about moving to New York City. Would you ever seriously move back to New York City? Y'all, I've thought about this so many times, but the only reason why I wanted to move back to New York City is just to build my platform, AKA my job, my career. This is what I do for a living. And just to make more money over there, to just show you guys New York. Everybody loves freaking New York. Like people who have never been to New York love to see New York. I love to see New York because I miss it sometimes. You know, like if I'm not, I'm obviously not there all the time. So I want to see it. Um, and so that's what I wanted to give to y'all and to the people who haven't um, been to New York before. Or people who miss New York that live in other states or whatever. But New York isn't crazy. <laughs> new york is getting crazy even though i feel like there's always places that are crazy regardless of where you live um and two it's uh super expensive and three Let's it's just not Kalia said bush gardens it's just like it was just it would just take so much in order to do so like i gotta move everything over there i gotta find an apartment and everything is hard harder to do over there like let's say i gotta take my kids to the doctor i gotta drive like 40 minutes to the doctor over here it's like literally like a five minute drive like everything's just closer if i gotta go to the dmv like small things like that that you don't really do on the regular it'll just take forever to do that and it's just like more difficult when it comes to certain things over there and like not having a washer and dryer in your apartment stuff like that y'all <laughs> like but yeah i just decided now that i have my car i could just go whenever i want you know what i mean and as far as living there forever because some people have asked me like oh is that gonna be where you stay forever heck to the no <laughs> that the taxes are ridiculous out there for homes 
and the homes are ridiculous like the how much you pay for it you get nothing for what you pay for so and oh <laughs> anyways thankful thankful for life said what type of man do you want god to bless you with a christian man who is good with his hands blue collar athletic etc and what type of goals do you have in mind as a team slash family what type of man i want god to bless me with one i want somebody who the first thing that came up to my in my mind was family oriented i want somebody who is as close to their family as i am <sighs> I've literally, I've noticed a pattern in my relationships. Every person that I've been with as, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend and so on, so on and so forth, they've never had a good relationship with their family and, or they didn't have like a father in their life, literally. Like from the first person that I ever dated for five years on and off, which was like my first puppy love, like he didn't know his father. The next person who was my boyfriend didn't know his father or his father wasn't there for him like i literally noticed that and i want somebody who is like so close to their dad and their mom just like super close with their siblings like that's what i want in a man i want somebody who's ambitious somebody who makes me laugh somebody who loves my children so whose family loves my kids as well and somebody whose family also loves me and treats me good like i never had that you know how you have like a sister-in-law or a brother-in-law that you're like mad close with like i have that relationship with my brother-in-law my aka my sister's husband but i never had that for myself and so i like i want that bond you know and i want that bond for my kids as well like somebody who communicates well and comprehends as well like i could be talking to you but sometimes certain things go through one ear and out the other so much y'all like there's so much on my list obviously somebody who's emotionally available mentally stable financially stable somebody who understands like my job this is like so random like somebody when they're angry they actually want to talk to you and not just break down and leave the house or like not communicate and just stay quiet for days somebody who's open-minded somebody who wants to travel like girl <laughs> we could talk for hours okay i just remembered this because you just said uh hands on good with their hands i mean i want somebody go with their hands like y'all see me i'd be putting furniture together i'd be moving furniture i want somebody who is handy like i want a man a man who knows how to like obviously put furniture together who doesn't wait for me to put it together somebody who knows how to like um like fix a car or change a tire like just small things that like men do this is maybe me asking for extra but like somebody who knows how to build stuff lay down concrete they know how to put tiles on the floor and like i want all of that girl and i want to be watching all of that while it's going on too and i want to be able to for us to have like goodness gracious <laughs> i want us to be able to work on projects together because i like to do that too you know anyways i'll be talking a lot um let's see rosemary gonzalez said Hi, uh, hello kiara i sure miss the daily vlogs but family is first i wanted to know if you finally got your income taxes from last year since you keep calling them hail to the no i haven't got my 2020 taxes i have not received my 2021 taxes and i have not received any stimulus checks I only received the one from last year and unfortunately me and my ex had filed together so when i say that we filed together unfortunately we filed in 2019 which was probably like a month after we separated but for those of you who have been watching for a long time um a month later we tried to like rekindle things and he decided that we should file together and that was a mistake on my part but um yeah so the 2020 stimulus checks goes based off of the 2019 taxes and once again we filed that year together so uh yeah i didn't receive any other stimulus checks and i don't know if that's like what's going on with the taxes but anyway so it went to him and i had to like tell him like with my stimulus check and i i think what there's been four in total has it been four or has it been three long story short i only got one so i haven't received the i think there was a 600 dollars one that came last year in like december a $300 one or something like that whatever I have never seen them I have not received anything none of my taxes none of that so yeah I have to call them first thing on Tuesday since Monday is Memorial Day the crook family five said what's your happy place let's start with that because she just she, her she has a big paragraph what's my happy place um honestly it's in New York I feel really happy in New York um 
my happy place as a mom every day is not perfect every day is not easy um but anywhere where i'm with my kids i'm happy like i said like once again life is not perfect but like when i'm not around them i don't know what to do with myself like i don't know what i'm gonna be doing for the in july when they're supposed to be going with their dad <sighs> but yeah new york jamaica y'all jamaica was awesome but um oh nails the nail salon is my happy place you asked me for one i think you just said what's your happy place and i just mentioned a few but yeah anyways uh did you deal with interracial hate when you were with your ex um i did on youtube um it was horrible and and especially when we separated and especially when he started dating other people of the same race as him just like so much ignorance like when we were actually together you know i would get like really racist comments as far as like my ex and like women telling me like oh you're stealing our men and blah blah, blah. and then also men and women like talking crap about my ex being black we i've seen comments of people calling us names and then especially when we separated and he started to date people of his race i got so much hate about like just people saying that like the person that he's with is better than me and just and like just like so much ignorance and how did i deal with it i don't give a fuck because i know who i am and i know the type of person i am and people just haters long story short like people love who they love goodness gracious like love who you love period anyways if yes how did you deal with it i already mentioned that she said my husband and i get this a lot we have been followed in stores and one time this girl called us oreo so stupid i can't stand this earth like the people on this earth like everybody who's racist and like just ignorant need to like go to another freaking planet like i wish i know you're not dating or want to date now but in the future will you date someone outside of your race so honestly i don't know who i'm gonna date in the future i honestly gravitate more towards chocolates i love men who are darker than me um i've met you know obviously like in my, in my past i've dated people who are african-american i've also dated men who are hispanic but they're darker than me and i just like that like i love me some chocolate i love dark chocolate I like i love caramel like i've never dated anybody white i've never dated anybody like asian but i don't know i i'm open to it though you know like i I'm, once again you love who you love and it depends on who comes into my life and if he checks off all the lists and i'm attracted to him physically mentally emotionally and all of that uh then we're you know i don't mind being with that person do you feel pressure of raising a black boy in today's violence towards african americans girl i i hate the way that this country is and how it's been for years and how like shit is not changing you know obviously things changed but it's like we have a long way still to go um but it is scary um even till this day i always check up on my stepson and when he came here i had a conversation with him um and even like my my kids dad too i i always tell him to be careful like whenever he leaves here and i always check up on him on the road just to make sure that he's okay you know my brother-in-law simon he's panamanian and black me and my sister are always checking up on him making sure that he's okay as well and jericho i just cannot like they are so innocent they don't even know under they don't even understand and fathom what the hell is going on right now so it's really i know that there's gonna it's gonna be really um nerve-wracking to obviously raise him and see him become a man and see him hanging out with certain people and like honestly sometimes i'd be like yo i just want to move from this fucking country like and i obviously can't because i have kids with a certain person that lives here too and i have family here but y'all like <sighs> it's scary it's scary and like my daughter too so it's it her alina like i'm just i'm just really nervous and i hope that by the time that they're older like all of this shit is like better but you know i'm just gonna have to work with my baby daddy work with my family and make sure that we raise them in a great way you know we raise them good and just pray to god that god will always protect us but yeah have you heard of bible journaling i think you would love it because you're an artist and it's peaceful to read what god left for us lastly i want to tell you how much jesus loves you and i want to apologize for all the so-called christian people that have hurt you and have not gave you an honest view of what living for god is girl when i tell you i've had people in my life 
that have pressured me, pressured me to go to church, to read the Bible. Like, oh, Karen, you better read the Bible and blah, blah, blah. And they were like the most dramatic, ungodly people. Like, this is why I say I have my own relationship with God. Because, you know, obviously not everybody that goes to church is bad and whatever. But the people that I've encountered, like you've mentioned, because I've mentioned this before. No. No. Like, how you go to church all the time, how you read the Bible all the time, go to Bible study, read the Bible with your friends, and you're like that type of person? Nah, bro. I'll just have my relationship with God, I'll talk to God by myself, and that's it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> just remember that there is nothing more powerful and wise and peaceful than to have Christ in your life. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. Um, she said, I dedicate this Bible verse, Joshua 1.9. Okay, bye. Saludos a tu familia. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Afia A said, where do you see yourself in five years, Kara? I've mentioned this in my last video, but <clears throat> I see myself with a house. I see myself probably with somebody <laughs> in my life, way more accomplishes, accomplished. I see myself with multiple streams of income. I see myself with a business not only YouTube, having a good amount saved in my in my savings. Uh, I see my bank account way bigger than it is right now. And just I just see myself way higher than I am right now. So um, yeah, that's about it. Next question, I'm spoiling y'all because I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be like over 30 minutes. So the next question is from Lou Branch. He said, Key, did you ever wonder why your ex wasn't as persistent to keep his first family together like he is with the relationship he's currently in? You know I ask what's on my mind. No disrespect. Damn, shout it. Damn, that was real. Um, I'm gonna choose my words wisely and I say this a lot because this is my channel and I, I do like to express how I feel but then I also have to Think about what is it that you really want outside of YouTube. Like I, I do have, to, I do like this is he gonna be in my life forever. Like Des, my baby daddy, person that I was with for six years, like my ex, he is going to be in my life forever because of our kids. I thought about it when the relationship first started, or. I don't really know when it first started, but when I first found out about it, I feel like, because, you know, obviously we have been separated for two years and I've already dealt with seeing that person with multiple people or multiple women already. So, like, it didn't bother me. I feel like it bothered me when I saw who the person was. And I was just like, like I mentioned before, like, they've known each other. They've known each other. I know who this person is. You know, they used to mess around before I got with him. So... I'm just like, I, I automatically, when I found out, like I said, this is not how I feel now. But when I found out about it, I was like, yo, bro, like, why didn't you just stay with this person? Like, why did you waste my time? I went through so much in that relationship. I built so much love. I did so much. I, there was a lot of memories and experiences that I went through in that relationship. Like, why you could have chose to do that with her, you know? And so... It bothered me also because when I did find out about it, also the video that I did see, it was alive. The things that they both said was disgusting. And I'm editing this on Memorial Day. And for those of you who see my community community page, you guys have seen that my ex is like trying to start drama with me again. So now that I'm doing this video, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Let's keep it real. The life that the live that I was talking about in this video. Um, they obviously my ex was just talking really disgusting about me and because obviously he vents to his girlfriend She said that he should call the cops on me and get me arrested because I left to Virginia I'm pretty sure that live is not anywhere to be found And it's probably one of the reasons why she doesn't like to be on camera And I can totally understand because I know a lot of you guys ride for me and I appreciate that so much um, But yeah, that is literally what I have in my mind um, when it comes to like my kids visiting and then being around that type of person and then also unfortunately like my ex and how he is mentally with me i just hope that he's not like that when he's around my kids but you know the times that he has hung out with them and stuff i don't see that type of behavior but yeah that's why i'd be feeling some type of way when i talk about visitation just because of that whole situation and 
it really bothers me but i have to let go and let god and i'm gonna stop blabbing and venting before i say anything else all right bye the things that they both said was not okay with me whatsoever it was very negative so then i'm like i already know this person then on top of it you saying stuff about me both of y'all so um i was honestly like angry when i first found out about when i started to see that it started to become serious and they started to live together and stuff like that and i heard about it i was just like once again why you waste my time um but then i started to work on myself and i started to work on my anger and work on like my frustration about the past and stuff like that aka started to it was a new level of healing and now i don't know i think it's been maybe over a year since i found out about that whole relationship and so obviously they live together they're about to have a baby and now how i feel about it is like you obviously chose this person and you know you decided to just work on it with this person have a new family with this person i really hope that it works out and i feel like you know now i'm just like it's already the third let's say relationship a slash marriage i'm pretty sure i would like for it to work out so that you won't have to, i'm just thinking like oh damn i'm like trying to use my words correctly um i'm just i just feel like he probably feels like he shouldn't continue to repeat the same things that he is doing because you know if anything this is going to be the third marriage and you know on top of it with another child he can't mess it up because as far as for me like as far as working stuff out with me again like that shit is never gonna happen or whatever so you know in his mind let's just say if he's thinking <laughs> that he ever wants to work out with me it's never gonna happen so i know for a fact that he doesn't want to ruin what he has right now because then what's gonna happen like i feel like that he's gonna probably feel like a failure and i just honestly for my kids father i wouldn't want that for him and i hope he doesn't want that for himself um but yeah it's it's all about like god's timing no matter how frustrated or how sad i was before or any of the thoughts that i have now like everything happened for a reason bruh like i just wasn't supposed to be in that relationship i wasn't supposed to be in that like i i've mentioned to y'all earlier the type of person that i want in my life the type of man that i want in my life you know some people can be good people but they're just not good people for you you know some people can be you can be with a person for so long and you guys break up because that person was just there for you for that amount of time so that you can learn certain lessons and so that hopefully you can remind yourself of who the fuck you are and then you choose someone who is right for you next time you know so i it just overall everything happens for a reason I, I go on a tangent but everything happens for a reason in my mind let's just say even if it did bother me and if i thought to myself like wow he's going in with this relationship you know he's like praising her and doing everything that he didn't do with me um at the end of the day it's the past we are separated one of these days we're getting a damn divorce <laughs> i don't know when and everything happens for a reason that's a long answer that was long I don't even know what parts I'm going to put to that because I need to choose my words wisely. I'm pretty sure I edited the freak out of that. So I've been talking for six minutes. I don't know how long this part was, but goodness gracious. Also, another thing is that it doesn't matter how much you do for a person, how much you love a person, how much you were there for a person or whatever the case may be. If that person doesn't love you or isn't in love with you and doesn't think that you are their person, that that's just what it is. Sometimes we as people, and I was one of them, like we feel like, damn we did that like you have to love me you have to love me though but some people just they just don't want that with you and you know at the end of the day you have to accept that you know and once again god does everything for a reason that relationship just wasn't for me some people are in your life for a reason you can be with a person for years and years and years and years and break up and it was for a reason you had to learn a lesson within that 
situation so that you can find yourself like i'm doing now i found myself already but you know you can heal yourself and work on yourself so that you can be the best person that you can be for yourself and then when you get into a next relationship it's just gonna be way better than you've ever expected you know and you're not gonna settle and all of that stuff like the things that i always say so everything happens for a reason you know it be like that sometimes you know anyways that is the last question i'm gonna stop blabbing i feel like i talked a lot thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys so much for watching please thumbs up this video it really helps on my channel and i feel like i have to burp okay um it really helps on my channel i hope you guys stay safe i hope you guys are good i hope you guys try your best to be happy and you guys will see me later peace out